that music that you're hearing right now, that's the sound of our galaxy. Seriously. I'm Noam Hassenfeld. I host the Unexplainable podcast from Vox. And this week we're talking about how astronomers listen to space. So for this sound, they took three images from three telescopes and they used different instruments to clearly communicate the data in each one. They used a piano for the infrared light, which is below what we can see. They used a plucky violin for the visible light. And they used a glockenspiel for the x-ray light, which is above what we can see. The brighter something is, the louder the sound is. So where the glockenspiels get really loud, where the x-ray light is really bright, that's the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. And the astronomers I talked to told me that listening to sounds like these are often just as good as looking at images, sometimes even better. And we get into all of this on the latest episode of our series, The Sound Barrier. It's all about the limits of our senses and the ways we can break through. This week, I talked to the guy who used sound to help him discover the first direct evidence of the Big Bang back in the 60s. I talked to a blind astronomer who used sound to help her make new discoveries about dying stars. And I talked to the scientist who made these Milky Way sounds. And just to say, I know there's not really any sound in space, but there also kind of is, and it's mind-blowing. So if you're curious to hear more, check it out on the Unexplainable podcast feed now, wherever you get your podcasts.